Hello everyone, welcome to 3dDesignAcademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about view manipulation. Okay, um, here we have a model of a vehicle. Um, we're going to use this as a reference for our view manipulation lesson. Okay, well, we're going to start with the view cube. The view cube is located on the right hand corner, and you can use this to change the view of the, uh, the modeling window. You can, if you click the corners, you can uh, look at the uh, several preset of views. So if I click here, and also if I go to the left side, you can also click on the arrows like this, you know, to change the view settings as such. Now, if you use, uh, if you click on the corners, you'll get a perspective view. And with the default setting, if you click on the left, on the face of the cube, you will be able to go to the direct uh, orthographic view. So if I click front, you'll be able to see the front. If I click left, you'll be able to see the left. And if I click the back, I'll be able to see the back and so forth. Now, um, also on the view cube, you can, uh, there's a drop down menu where you can, uh, you'll able to, um, choose some more options. So right now the default is, it'll be uh, default is perspective with ortho faces. So what that means is if you're generally modeling and you're going around, it'll show you an orthographic view. But if you click on the face of the view cube, it'll show you an orthographic view. Now, if you change the, uh, uh, if you click on the little arrow and change to orthographic, everything you you'll see will be orthographic. So even if I press the corner, of the cube, it's gonna give you an orthographic view. Now, if you change that to a perspective view, like that, even if you click on the face of the cube in which you should get a um, orthographic view, you'll see that it's actually giving you a perspective view. So you can just click on the little arrow and change the view, uh, change the option as you wish. So I'm going to just keep it at a perspective with ortho faces like that. Now, um, this is one way to manipulate the modeling window. However, the, mo uh, the more commonly used method is to combine the shift alt key with your mouse button. Now, in order to tumble the model, rotate the model, you just have to click alt shift and left click on the mouse and rotate click and hold as such. Now, in order to pan, where you want to move the uh, modeling window left, left, uh, left to right, or up and down, all you have to do is Shift and Alt plus your middle mouse button to move the model like this. In order to zoom, there are two ways to zoom and uh, zoom in and zoom out of the uh, into the model. One is to press Alt Shift and click on the right mouse button. If you Hold, click and hold to the right, it'll zoom in. If you click and hold and go to the left, it'll zoom out. Another way is to use your middle mouse button, which is usually a scroll wheel. So if you use a scroll wheel, you'll be able to zoom in and also zoom out. Now, um, there's another very important aspect of view manipulation when you're using the Alt Shift key. So if you use an Alt Shift and click, do a one click with your left mouse button, you'll see that you'll see this little cursor or uh, what is called a point of interest. What that does is that it sets a point of the camera where you can, uh, it base essentially becomes a pivot or a center of, a uh, center of attention for uh, where your camera rotates around. So if I click, for example, here, when I do a tumble with the Alt Shift to Left Mouse button, it's going to rotate about that point. And when I try to zoom in, it's also going to zoom in and out uh, uh, around that point. If I click here, for example, it's going to rotate around that point. Now you can also combine the pan. Uh, function with the shift, uh, shift alt uh, middle mouse button in order to zoom in to the area that you want to concentrate on. So for example, so I set the point of interest to here. 
I can shift or well, pan to using shift, uh, alt shift and middle mouse button and zoom in the shift, uh, shift, alt shift the right mouse button, you know, to view that area. So let's say you want to work on a detail such as a tail lamp. All you have to do is a shift alt, left mouse click button, zoom in and rotate rotate around the model as such. Now, uh, that was the shift alt and mouse click function. And also let's say you want to quickly go to the left uh, or the side view, you can either click on the cube or there's another option. Now, the problem with using the view cube is that when you're clicking, you uh, accidentally, you can uh, get out of the old ortho view. Now, if you click on F5, you'll be able to go to ortho orthographic views directly and that's uh, it's not going to change with your clicking. So it's going to always stay in the orthographic view. So for example, F5 is going to give you the top view. F6 is going to give you a side view. F7 is going to give you a rear view. And F8 is going to give you a perspective view. Now if you press F9, it's going to give you all uh, or all four views at once. And these three windows are locked to each other. So let's say you want to zoom in. It's also going to zoom in on the three different windows. Now, this is very useful, uh, useful when you want to look at different views at once. And also, let's say you, this modeling window, let's say you move this window like this. If you click on F8, it'll reset back to the window. Now, uh, that's uh, basically those are some of uh, those are most of the most popular methods of doing view and manipulation. Now, there are going to be times when you're uh, tr uh, busy trying to make a model and you either zoom in way too uh, too far in or way too far out. Now, there are several ways in order to reset your view. So let's say you zoom out way too much and basically you lost the model. So it's a blank screen. So one thing you can do is press Alt and L key together. That's going to fit the model, entire model, back into the view like this. Now, if that doesn't work, there is a view reset tool under the palette. So if you click on view and right here, there's a reset button. So I'm going to zoom back, way back out again and I'm going to say reset. And it's, uh, I think it resets back to the uh, default view when you first start alias. So this is another way of resetting your view so that if your modeling window is acting a little bit funny, you can um, go back to the uh, modeling screen. Now, uh, if everything else fails, and let's say there are times where you might accidentally delete your camera. So I'm going to go back to, uh, I'm going to press F9 and go to perspective view or the four, four windows. And I'm going to say, I want to see the camera. So this is actually the camera, perspective camera that you're seeing here. Well, you can't really see in the modeling window, but it is there. So let's say I accidentally delete this. And you go back to the perspective window and you by pressing F8, there's no modeling window and you're just a flipping up and down and flickering, but it's not doing anything. Now, if that happens, resetting view doesn't really do anything. So uh, in that case, what you can do is you can go to on the menu, you can go to layouts and you can go to new window, click on the option box and click on perspective and go and that's going to get your windows back all right and that concludes the, uh, this lesson and thank you for watching